I was on the chair. <sighs> yeah, much is stress that I work here. What's going on, Much Music? My name is Teddy, and we're back with another episode of Throwing It Back. This time, we're doing Usher. Usher's performing at the Super Bowl, and he has an album that just released called Coming Home. So, I'm about to react to his first music video ever called Call Me a Mac, which shows right here was posted 14 years ago. Let's get into it. We got the pictures. We finally got the pictures. Good. Where's he at? Okay, here we go. We're gonna pause right there because my boy's looking handsome. There's a picture here and they're saying, it looks like they're looking for him, all right? So it looks like he's a hot commodity at the moment and the text here says, where is he at? And he's posing against the wall, you know, R&B flow. He's at the theater. I don't care what it takes. I got to have him back. Damn, Usher. Ooh. Ooh. This is nuts. Oh my God. Sound is good. Okay, pause right here. Obviously, Usher is, is a Mac already, but it's funny because he's in the passenger seat because <laughs> he probably can't drive yet. That makes sense. Call Me a Mac was Usher's first single released when he was just 14 years old. Now, we talked about that in the music video. He was young and talented, 14 years old. I'm not even gonna begin to tell you what I was doing at 14 years old. I was definitely not a Mac. Two years earlier, he moved with his family from Tennessee to Atlanta, where he entered a lot of talent competitions and got noticed by L.A. Reid, who signed him to his label, LaFace. Ah. Tupac and Janet Jackson, crazy cameo. This is, this is my type of music, guys. I grew up on R&B like this, so this is my type of vibe. Usher already had the talent already. This is insane. Ooh, look at that. He has the confidence already. It's insane. The definition of a Mac, an individual skilled in the art of seduction using verbal skills. Mac was a popular term in hip hop in the early 90s that proved suitable for young vocalists when the underage duo Criss Cross came on the scene in 1991 calling themselves the Mac Daddy and the Daddy Mac. Mark Morrison popularized it further with his 1996 hit Return of the Mac. Okay, so he's, he's, they're trying to get him. And the main girl right here that in, this, in the beginning of the music video was like, we gotta have him. And so far they, they, they are not, they can't, he's escaping. Woo! Usher, wow! This song was released as a single and included on the soundtrack to the movie Poetic Justice, starring Janet Jackson and Tupac, which is why you see them throughout the music video. Despite the exposure in the movie, the song barely cracked the charts. It only reached 56 on the hot R&B and hip hop song tally. No, Usher really had it all. He had the, I think it's cool because it's showcasing how good of a dancer he was already. He had the stage presence already. He had the confidence. I don't know, I wish I can just mimic one of the moves right now, but I, I can't, I can't. I'm gonna, I, I'll go on the chair. <sighs> yeah, much is stress that I work here. The move was. 
Okay, get away helicopter. Ellie Reed wasn't thrilled with Usher's next recording, so he sent him to live with Sean Combs, also known as Diddy, in New York City for an apprenticeship. The two most important people to lend him a helping hand in the beginning of Usher's career were Jermaine Dupri and Puff Daddy. Usher said that Dupri taught him on how music works, whereas Sean Combs taught him how to craft his image. Puff Daddy co-produced his first album and Dupri worked on his second album. Crucially, Dupri made sure that Usher participated in the songwriting. Oh my god, let's pause right there. Shoulder, the jacket's off the shoulder, he has the hat tilted, shirt tucked in. This boy's not playing game, look at the stance. He was set up for superstardom. This is Usher. Usher had it. What? He did get seven hip hip thrusts. Seven. Okay, he just rapped. Okay. Whew. Just call me a man. Nah. Wow. You never get him. Oh, helicopter's coming. The late the girl shows up. And he gets away in a helicopter like a real Mac. Oh my god. That we just witnessed together the first music video that Usher ever dropped, Call Me a Mac, 14 years ago. And there's a reason why he is where he is. And to kind of watch that and everything he did and now performing at the Super Bowl is so cool. Cause you know, he's worked so hard to get to where he is and, and dropped all these bangers for us. So, I mean, obviously the quality is different, um, but it, I don't see a change. I don't see any changes. I just see growth in a young artist that's just trying to learn. And, and mold himself. What are you expecting from the halftime show? I'm expecting no guess. No, that's crazy to say. <laughs> I'm expecting a, just a firework, you know, like just a fire, it's fireworks everywhere, fire everywhere. Also, I don't think he'll be able to seduce any any anyone's uh, girlfriend because you know he has these things where he performs in Vegas and all the boyfriends kind of hold their their girls tight, you know. I don't think he's gonna be able to do that from where he is. Thank you for watching another episode of Throwing It Back. Let me know what you guys think about this music video and let me know your thoughts on the album. I'll see you in the next one. Much love.